I don't have to fear for my own life. Because when you devote your life for a fight, and when you are determined to save people's life, your life is no more important. I know at any time I can be killed, but it's a choice. Il passe à tout le pays, la Côte d'Ivoire. Oui, vous, vous savez que le, le sujet de ce pays est possible, la jeunesse, c'est l'avenir de ce pays pour le pays. I first read about Charles Blagoday in an article in The New Yorker. Some called him the general for his ability to amass tens of thousands of youth into the streets within hours. Some called him the machette for the way he dealt with his rivals. The UN Security Council submitted his name for sanctions and the American government called him a terrorist and put him on their watch list. The more I read about him, the more intrigued I became and when he proclaimed that he would take over the country if the current president was not re-elected, I decided to go to Ivory Coast to see how a 30-something student could do all this. Blegoudé, Blegoudé Charles is a holder, a, a elder brother of mine. They have been the former and the first leader of FACI uh, on the campus. Those people who were fighting for the welfare and uh, the ideas of students on the campus. Blegoudé, moi je pense hein, que c'est quelqu'un aujourd'hui qui met la jeunesse dans l'erreur. Mais quand les patriotes de Côte d'Ivoire arrivent, ils arrivent à une seule photo. Ils arrivent à une seule photo. Ils arrivent avec une seule photo. Voilà. He knows how to manage to handle the youth. And he knows how to rally people, how to, to set seeds of revolution in their mind. We were together in Fessy. I was responsible for the mobilization and organization and Blake Goudet was working for me. I see someone who was very, very engaged in the human rights question. I see someone who was not like today, because if I see Blake Goudet talking about the stranger, talking about uh, the white people who have to be shut down, uh, I did not recognize my friend. <laughs> Et vous parlez de 